How are you doing, Roxana? All good? How are you, Roxana? Good to see you. Do you have a mic, Roxana? Do you have a microphone? Hello, teacher. Good night. Hello, Roxana. Good evening. How are you doing today? Good evening. All good? How are you? <laughs> I'm good. Good, good. Good to hear from you. Um, how are you dealing with coronavirus? Uh, very interesting. Each day is something new. <laughs> there is something new. Yeah, it's okay. We got something new every day, right? Hello there. Mm -hmm. Mr. Galaxy A10, how are you doing? All right, guys, do me a favor, turn on your turn on your uh your video, okay? It's in the video. All right. Uh Galaxy A10, what's your name? I'm sorry. Galaxy A10. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what his name is. Uh Rox Roxana, do you have um do you have a camera? Uh, no, not right now. <laughs> not, not, not right now, okay, very good. But I can see you, teacher. Sorry. <laughs> All right, now, all right, very good. Now, I know that you can see me. It's just, I don't know if you're falling asleep <laughs> or what, right? You gotta. <laughs> One day I will introduce myself, my face. <laughs> all right, sounds good. Sounds good. Sounds good. Okay. All right, very good. How are you doing, uh, Ga Mr. <laughs> Galaxy A10? What's your name? Jose. Jose, how are you? All right. Hey, can you turn on your camera? I am going. It's working. Okay, then I'm on. All right, uh, do me a favor, guys. Have a notebook ready. All right, how are you, man? How was your day? <coughs> All good, hang in there. How was your day? What do you do today? Kiss this day. We're coughing. Uh, Jose, what did you do Hello? today? What, what did you do today? Uh, today, I, it was my day off, and I went to the supermarket a few minutes, but it's difficult because they are a lot of people. Oh, okay. Yes. All right. Why, um, why did you go to the supermarket? Hello, Anna. Welcome back. Welcome, welcome. Uh, why, why did you go to the supermarket? Don't tell me that you went there to buy toilet paper. <laughs> I'll say it's kind of sick. Okay. Anna, Anna, how are you doing? <laughs> Anna, how are you hanging there? All good? All right. Oh, good, 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 good. How was your day, Anna? What do you do? Mm, great. I work. I visit the doctor. I work or I worked? I go. I worked. Okay. I worked. Okay. Well, okay. Uh, so yeah, you got. Uh, you were sick yesterday, right? So yeah. How are you holding up? Better. Okay. Hey, that's a cool one. How are you holding up? Okay. We're getting ready then. Okay. Hey, good, good, good to see you. Um, <coughs> what about Roxana? How was like uh, the whole your whole day? Describe. Um, I, today was very busy. Uh, <laughs> I had to go out twice to 
make different diligences or tasks. And okay. I feel sick. <laughs> okay, very good, very good. Oh, you feel sick. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. something. Okay. All right, guys. So, uh, by the way, guys, I'm just sharing a, I'm just a document for you to uh, practice some expression, you know, expressing opinions, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so for example, if I want to mm -hmm. ask me, uh, if you want to ask me about coronavirus, okay, uh, let's say that we're talking about coronavirus. Uh, you can say, well, <coughs> coronavirus, mm -hmm. coronavirus is a disease that it, mm -hmm. it's a virus that spreads around the world. Or I can say, I think coronavirus is a disease that spreads around the world. Or in my point mm -hmm. of view, coronavirus is a, it's a, it's a disease that's, that spreads around the world. Or you can say, mm -hmm. in my opinion, I am of the opinion that coronavirus, as far as I'm concerned, coronavirus. So all of these, mm -hmm. okay, so I'm going to highlight all of these right now, okay? So mm -hmm. all of these right here can be used to express opinion, mm -hmm. okay? Something about coronavirus. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay, so uh, it's pretty much about, you know, expressing opinion, okay? No, not about coronavirus, okay? It's just expressing opinion, okay? Hello, Moses. Nice to see you. Uh, Raul, nice to see you there. Do me a favor, Jose Moses. Uh, and Raul, turn on your camera. All right. <clears throat> so today, guys, I want you to start using the, you know, uh, how to express opinions. Okay. So every time that I ask you, do me a favor, guys. Take a <coughs> screenshot. Toma a screenshot to algo. All right. Um, in fact, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to send it to the send it over to the WhatsApp group right wait, now. Wait. All right. Wait. Wait. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Take a screenshot or something. Mm -hmm. All right. And uh, okay. okay. So now, what you'll do, guys, is that I want you to every time that I ask you for an opinion, you're gonna you're gonna start using those expressions. Okay. Moses, how are you? How was your day? All good. Moses, Moises. Raul? All good? All right, very good, very good, very good. Okay, uh, guys, uh, do me a favor, turn on the camera and uh, get connected, okay? I'm trying to log into WhatsApp right now. Very good, guys, very good, very good, okay? All right, so welcome back, guys. Okay, so let's continue, guys, from um, if you already took a screenshot of this, I'm going to be sending mm -hmm. to the WhatsApp group right now. Give me one second. <clears throat> so, uh, Jose, can you hear me? Jose? Um, yes, I can hear you. Okay, very good, very good. Okay. All right, Jose, uh, turn on your camera again, all right? All right, so uh, uh, okay, okay. I want to send you to the WhatsApp group right now. Okay, so I sent the image to the WhatsApp group, guys. Okay, <clears throat> so now you can you can use it uh, whenever you want to share opinions. All right, so let's get started with the platform. So yesterday, all right, hold on, not the whole screen. So yesterday, guys, uh, we were we were uh, listening to um, asking favors, right? All right, did you finish this exercise, guys? Hello, uh, yes, hello Renata. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. How are you? All good? Nice to see you. Okay. Uh, so yesterday, guys, we were we were uh, doing exercise uh, 3.6, okay? Um, did you finish this one? Yes. Okay. Jose, did you finish this one? Uh, yes, I finished. Roxana? Yes, I finished. Okay, very good. And Ada? Uh, what is the question, teacher? Did, did you finish? Uh, can you see this? Can you take a look at the screen and tell me if you finished exercise 3.6? No, teacher. Um, I am late because my platform not working for uh, six, six days. Um, I, I think that the next weekend I am ready for the... <laughs> Okay. The, uh, exercise. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Oscar, mm -hmm. nice to see you again, brother. How are you? My God, it's a long time no see. 
All right, how are you doing? All good, Oscar? Do you have a mic? Guys, when somebody, by the way, guys, uh, when somebody is sick, all right, you should be able to see the whole screen right now, okay? So when somebody is sick, guys, and you want to ask them how are they, okay, you ask them, everyone repeat after me, how are you holding up? They want how, are, how, how are you holding up? How are you ho holding up? How are you holding up? Very good job, okay? How are you holding up? It means, ¿Cómo vas? ¿Cómo estás? Right? But, ¿Cómo estás de, de estás curado? ¿Qué onda? Okay? Got it? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, very good, very good, okay? All right, now, when you don't see somebody for a long time, you can say, a long time no see, okay? Anyone, long time no see. Long time, long time no, no see. see. All right, very good. Long now, see. say, long time no see, Oscar. Long time no see. Oscar, all right, everyone, long time no see, Oscar. Hace tiempo que no te veo, Oscar, eso significa, okay? All right, all right, very good, very good, okay? All right, <clears throat> anyways, let's continue, okay? So since we all finished, guys, we're going to skip it for, for right now. All right, so let's talk about indirect requests introduced by that, okay? All right, grab a notebook, guys, grab a notebook and take notes, Okay. Hello. Hello, Oscar. We can hear you now. How are you, man? All good? Oh, uh, you okay. Glad to see you again, all right? All I've right. been having difficulties to join you, but I'm, I'm glad to be back again. Yeah, I'm glad to see you, man. Long time no see. Long time no see, man. All right, very good. All right, so let's watch. Uh, let's do the next exercise. Let's go. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll learn how to make indirect requests. We will focus on turning statements into indirect requests. Now let's discuss what indirect requests are. So indirect requests means that you want to give a message to someone who is not present or not available. Let's say for example you call a person and the person is not there um, and you leave a message for that person. Well this is what we call an indirect request. So let me present some structure. If you see the chart on the screen, we can see how this structure changes depending on the type of sentence. So if we have statements, imperatives, yes and no questions, and WH questions, those will be different whenever we change them to indirect requests. Uh, now I'll be discussing this individually. Uh, and then um, we're going to try to make sense of all of them together. The idea is to be able to make, uh, to, to take any kind of um, sentence and then change that to a form of indirect request. So in this particular lesson, we're going to focus with the first one, with statements. So as we can see, um, statements are quite easy to change, right? We have a statement there, Jeff, Tony's having a party. So that statement, we change it to an in indirect request. You call um, maybe uh, maybe Jeff uh, Jeff the assistant uh, and uh, you want to give a message to him because he was not available and then you you um, you tell um, the assistant uh, could you tell Jeff that Tony is having a party all right so it's quite easy right we just kind of like introduce could you tell and here we're gonna introduce uh, the person who uh, that message is for so remember that what you're doing is you're leaving a message with Jeff's assistant uh, and then Jeff's assistant will, doing, will then give that message to him. So it's quite simple, right? So what we want to do is uh, we want to um, uh, leave um, quite a few messages for Jeff uh, and then we want to practice changing those statements into indirect requests. In this case, we're going to practice uh, changing those uh, statements to indirect requests introduced by uh, that. So the first one that we can see there is, okay, Jeff, uh, Tony is having a party. That's the message. Uh, so how would I give the message to the receptionist or to his assistant? Um, could you tell Jeff that Tony is having a party? By the way, the reason you see that in parentheses is because that is optional. That means that you can either say, could you tell Jeff Tony is having a party? Or you could just include it. You could say, could you tell Jeff that Tony is having a party? So let's write a couple of other um, uh, statements, if you will. 
All right, and these are messages that I want to give uh, to uh, Jeff's uh, receptionist, right? Uh, let me, I'll change the size a little bit so that you can see that pretty clear. So how do we change this next statement? Jeff, Tony is going to invite everyone from work. All right, so once again, we want to deliver the message. We want to leave the message with the receptionist. So um, could you tell Jeff that Tony is going to invite everyone from work. So basically the only thing that we did um, is if you see this is the message, right? And what we did is we just pretty much sort of like have the same thing. We only added, and I'm going to highlight that in red, we only added, could you tell Jeff that, right? Because the message is for Jeff once again, right? Could you tell Jeff that Tony is going to invite everyone from work? Now highlight that in yellow so you can see. So this was the only thing that we added. And we're going to do the same thing for other kind of statements. Uh, and so let's play around with other kinds of statements real quick. Um, let's see, something related to a party, right? And we want to give the message to Jeff. All right. Um, OK, um, so let me change the size a little bit. So Jeff, Tony is going to have a lot of food and drinks at the party. So how can we change this to an indirect request or an indirect message? Well, first of all, I mentioned that um, at this point, because everything is directed towards uh, Jeff, uh, we want to say, could you tell Jeff that? And we're simply going to copy this, as you can see, right? And by the way, uh, something that I forgot to do was I just forgot to add this question mark here, right? Okay, there we go. Uh, so it's quite simple as you can see, right? Uh, let's do one more. Um, what's the message? Well, I want to also give another message to Jeff and this message is gonna be all right um, Tony is gonna have a DJ who is gonna play all kinds of music right so once again what is it that we want to do well uh, quite simple we're gonna just borrow this could you tell Jeff that all right and we're simply going to just uh, the, the message we don't change much on the message at this point right it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, so could you tell Jeff that Tony is going to have a DJ who's going to play all kinds of music, right? That's the message that I want to give to, uh, to Jeff. All right, very good, guys. So uh, I hope that you understood. Uh, just kidding, guys. Now. I'm going to, hey, welcome, welcome, Dahlia. Thank you for joining us tonight. How are you doing? All good, 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 good. All right, guys. Okay, so pretty much in other words, guys, in other words, I'm sorry. In other words, uh, what we just learned is what to do if we want to be gossipers, okay? If we want to be chambrosos, okay? All right. So it's true, guys. It's true, right? So, for example, okay? So don't complicate your life, okay? Let's see. Tell me a gossip. Uh, Oscar, tell me, tell me a gossip. Tell me anything that's happening nowadays. Uh, uh, something about your, your best friend or something. <laughs> huh? Do you know? Or do you know that? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, okay. I can hear you. Do you know? That? Do you know? Do you know Nayib is going to close the airport tonight oh, okay. at midnight? Okay, Nayib is going to close the airport at midnight, okay? So we got an expression there, okay? We got our, no. our first, okay? So we got our first chambre, okay? So Nayib, all right, can you see the screen? Can you all see the, the whole screen? Yes, right? All right, so Nayib is going to close the, the airport tonight. Uh, actually, just uh, let's just at midnight, okay? All right. So Naive is going to 
close the airport at midnight in the chambre, okay? So we want to transmit that chambre. We want to transmit that, that gossip, okay? It's actually, it's a fact, okay? Let's call it fact, un hecho, okay? So now, now, uh, Oscar, uh, pick someone, pick someone, pick someone. <laughs> Just pick someone. Okay, Oscar, you, you're muted, okay? Okay. Dalia, Dalia, let's go. Okay, Dalia. All right. So, Dalia, I want you to ask, okay, I want you to ask Anna to tell Eneida about what Naive requested today, okay? What Naive Bukele is going to do today, okay? So, I want you to ask Anna to tell Eneida about what Naive is going to do today, okay? Got it? Three, two, one, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Okay. Anna. Eneida. Eh, no, te, Eneida. I, no, no, no. Eneida. Uh, huh? Eneida. Tell us. Naive is going to close the April at midnight. Okay. Remember, we're asking requests, okay? It's true. You're gonna try. You're gonna. You're gonna. Um. You're gonna transmit. Ah, you're gonna transmit okay. the the message. Okay. The the gossip. El chambre. Yeah. Okay. Vas a transmitir el chambre. Right. Okay. So, all right. So, word in the street is okay. Naive is going to close the airport. So, let me give an example. Okay. Oscar. Okay. Oscar. All right. How can I make a request? We saw that yesterday, right? Could you tell <laughs> Moses? Okay. Could you tell Moses? Okay. That naive is going to close the airport at midnight, please. All right, see? Hey, Oscar, could you tell Moses, Moises, that naive is going to close the airport at midnight? Podría decirle a Moses que naive va a cerrar el aeropuerto a medianoche, okay? Got it? Got it, Dalia? Got it, got it, yeah. got it, got it. All right, very good. Okay, now, okay. now guys, necesito, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to couple you up. Hold your horses, hold your horses, okay? All right. I'm going to couple you up, guys, okay? Lo voy a poner en, en grupos, guys, y necesito que hablen de un chambre y que le digan okay. que le digan a otra persona, okay? So, if I want to say, okay. hey, Neida, podría decirle a Ana que vi a su esposo con otra mujer, right? Could you tell <laughs> Ana that I saw her husband with another woman? I'm just kidding, just kidding, okay? All right, so like that, okay? Vamos a inventar chambre, three, two, one, let's go. And you have to ask, tienen que pedirse lo que se le diga a otra persona, okay? Three, two, one, go. Join, join the rooms, join the rooms. All right, let me hear you guys. Moses, hello. Raul. Hello, do you hear me? Raul. Yes, I hear you. Oh, it's okay. Moses, uh, could you tell uh, the teacher that Nayib is going to close our restaurant tonight? Beautiful job, man. Yes, I will say that. Very and, good, could okay. you, and could you tell to the teacher that Nayib is going to close the pupu, the the restaurant, the pupuseiras, <laughs> and all the places to drink to to at midnight. Okay, all right. Now, stop. Okay, very good job. I like it because uh, that is the right way to do a request, an indirect request. However, guys, do me a favor. Stop talking about naive. Talk about something else, okay? <laughs> okay. All right, I'll be right back. Thank you. He's not going to work in Salvador. Nobody. So okay. um, Moses, uh, Oscar, no, but, but but we can use the the chamber, the gossip. Uh huh. Yeah, exactly. We can say exactly. another another gossip. Uh huh. Exactly. Okay. Uh, okay, we are going to say them. Uh, Oscar, could you tell Anna that his sister is in the United States? 
right now. Right now. Okay. And she was saying. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> and she was okay. saying that she was in Santana, but, but now the truth is that they're in the States now. Ah, okay. Well, <laughs> that's good. <laughs> okay, could, okay, could you tell the teacher that, um, okay, that uh, there is no, uh, there is no drugstores open uh, for- Beautiful job, okay. pronunciation, pronunciation. It's not drugstore, okay. drug stores, okay? Drug stores. Right, very good. Continue, guys, continue. That's a good job, right? Invent okay. gossips, okay. invent gossips, make up gossips, okay? Let's go. Okay. Your boyfriend that is uh, the supermarket and... Oh, <laughs> hold your horse. <laughs> the supermarket closes tomorrow. <laughs> your, your boyfriend that is the supermarket, tu novio que es el supermercado. No, 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 que no va a ir. <laughs> okay, you want to say that... that that Dalia's boyfriend is not going to go to the supermarket. Is that what you want to say? Uh, yes. Okay. Dalia, could you tell uh, your boyfriend? Um, sería that your no. Dalia, could you tell uh, your boyfriend that uh, the supermarket is will be closed? Closed. Tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Very good job. Now, grammar structure. That was good. Okay. You follow the grammar structure. What we need to work on is, you said supermarcador. Okay. You wanted super. to say super supermarket. With supermarket. T. Yes. Supermarket. Yes. 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 You got it, Dalia. All right. Let me hear Dalia. Okay. Let me hear Dalia. Mm -hmm. Um. And Maida, could you tell to husband? No. So no, only husband. Tell husband. Okay. Tell him. Could you tell husband that no. that 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 um, his dog is 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 lost. Um. ¿Qué me quiere decir? En, mm -hmm. en Spanish, it translates. Actually, she said, could you tell, I don't know, remember who, that his dog is lost, okay? That was a uh, good grammar structure. Uh, but, yeah, focus on the idea, okay? Portray the idea they want to say. I'm going to check on the other groups. I'll be right back. How are you hey, doing, hey, guys? Hey. How are you doing? All good? Good, good, good. All right, so let me, let me, let me make up by gossip, okay? By the way, guys, make up, it means to invent, okay? I'm going to share it on the screen, okay? Make up significa inventar algo, okay? All right. Make up, make up, make up, okay? Make up is inventar. All right. And make out is besarse, okay? To smoosh, smoosh, right? All right, now, uh, let's see. Jose. Okay. Um, Angel, Angel says, uh, Angel says that he does not, like you, okay? No, dice que no le agradas, okay? Angel dice que no le agradas, okay? So, Ana, mm -hmm. I want you to to tell Jose what Angel said, okay? I want you to tell Jose, no, no. I want you to tell, <laughs> that didn't work. We need another person. I want you to tell me, okay? I want you to tell me, to tell Jose what Angel said, okay? Let's go. Necesito que me pregunte a mí, que le diga, me, me pida a mí, me solicita a mí, que le diga a José lo que Ángel dijo, ¿ok? Let's go. Ok. David, could you tell uh, Angel that, that, uh, that she said? Oh, no, no, Angel, ok, no. Necesito que me pida que yo le diga a José, no a Ángel, a José, ¿ok? The other way around, the other way around, all right? Could you tell to Angel? Could you tell Angel, ¿ok? Could you tell Angel? Exactly. When you, guys, when you, when you use, uh, cuando usan, when you say tell, you don't have to use 
uh, infinitives, okay? Cuando usan, uy, la saqué ella. <laughs> All right, uh, when you tell guys, you don't have to use infinitives, okay? All right, no, no usan infin infinitives cuando dicen tell, okay? Got it, got it, Angel? Got it? Yeah, uh, got it. All right, very good, very good, okay? Let's sit back, let's sit back now, okay? We gotta move on. Sorry, Anna, for changing you to, to another, <laughs> another group. Don't, don't worry. All right, very good, all right, very good, okay? In the middle. All right, the so, so guys, right, just in summary, guys, in summary, this is for requests. This is for? Yes. This is for? Request. Requests, okay, very good job. Request. Right. Request. Very good, okay. Now, yes. uh, do you have any question? Any questions so far? Raise your hand. No, 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 no. All good? Okay, oh. Roxana, all good. Alisa, nice to see your, your name again. How are you? Uh, Jose, all good? Any question? All good, guys? All good? Now, guys, do my favor. Take a look at the screen, okay? Uh, mm -hmm. Everyone repeat, okay? Make up. Everyone, make up. Okay. Make up. Make up. Make up. Okay, make, make up, up, guys. Make up. Make up. The now, if you use it as a noun, guys, it's to. All right, to uh, make up your face, okay? Now, if, yes. you, if you use it, it actually means to invent something, inventarse algo, okay? So oh, okay. Like if, you're, if you're gossiping, if you're gossiping, all right, if you invent a story about another person, that is making up a story, okay? Inventarse una historia. Mm -hmm. what, is the meaning of, what is the meaning of make up, Elisa? Three, two, one. All right, let's go. No, okay, make up is one. Okay, mm -hmm. no, no, no. But the verb, what is the meaning of make up, uh, Dalia? As a verb, as a hacer. verb. What is it? Hacer. Hacer. Inventar. <laughs> Inventar, so guys. Okay, got it? So we invent story. Okay, very good, very good. Okay. Yes. Really good, guys. Really good, okay? All right, so let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on. Isn't this the one that we were seeing? All right, guys. So this is what you have to learn about this is just the structure, okay? It is exactly the same thing. Now, what are infinitives, guys? Can se recuerda que son infinitives? Just give me the example. What are infinitives? Uh, Oscar? Hold on. Oscar, do you, do you recall what infinitives are? By the way, guys, repeat. Everyone recall. Everyone recall. 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 Right. Recall. That's, that's, recall. Okay, that is another way of saying recordar, okay? Instead of saying remember, you can say recall. recall. Oh, no, I don't recall, okay? All right, very good, very good, okay? Okay. All right, uh, so, Oscar, give me, give me the example of an infinitive. What is an infinitive? Uh, to work. Okay, very good. Okay, two. When we add, okay, when we add two to something, to walk, to run, right, to be, yeah. right, mm -hmm. these are infinitives, uh -huh. okay? So we're going to yes. see indirect requests plus infinitives, okay? All right, let's watch a video. Okay. Hold on. All right, remember, write that down, guys, okay? So uh, so we do this when we want to uh, request something to someone that is not available, okay? Alguien que no está disponible. I can't hear anything. Richard, I can't hear you. You can't hear? Oh. Okay, I'm sorry, 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 sorry. All right, let's see. All right, let me hear, uh, can you hear now? Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll learn how yes. to make indirect requests. Yes. In this class, we will focus on turning imperatives into indirect requests. 
We use indirect requests when you want to give a message to someone who is not present or not available. Well, let's say, for example, you call a person and the person is not there, uh, but uh, maybe the assistant or a receptionist answers the phone. So you leave a message with that person. This is what we call an indirect request. So let me present the structure. If you see the chart on the screen, we can see how the structure changes depending on the type of sentence. So for example, if we have statements, which is what we saw in our previous class, uh, then these statements will change in this form, right? Could you tell Jeff that Tony is having a party or could you tell Jeff Tony is having a party? Um, so we did a lot of practice with this in our previous lesson. Today we're gonna focus or we're gonna um, pay close attention to imperatives. Uh, so we're going to have a series of imperatives and we will be changing those to uh, indirect requests using uh, infinitives. If you can see on the screen, we're going to uh, take this imperative and um, so the imperative is Jeff, don't be late. Now this, we're going to turn it into an indirect request by using infinitives. And so the way that we will do this is that we will use can you tell plus the object and then we'll use an infinitive. This infinitive could be in a negative form or it could also be in a positive form. Uh, so let me just quickly point out the structure that we're going to be using. Um, all right, uh, so I mentioned uh, we're going to use could. Um, this can also be can, by the way. And uh, then we're going to use um, a subject there. It could be you, but uh, it could be any other subject as well, right? And then uh, typically we're, we will use the verb tell and then I mentioned this is going to be followed by the object. The object is who are we giving that message to. So for example, in this case, it happens to be Jeff. Um, and after that, we will use um, an infinitive, as I mentioned. Uh, this could be in the form of a negative infinitive. Uh, so in this case, uh, let's just take that example there. Um, can you, and I will tell the object it's Jeff all right and in this case uh, this happens to be a negative one so we will say not to be late and then we'll put a question mark and that's how we would change um, an imperative into an indirect request so now let's say that the imperative is different okay now we're gonna I'm going to give an example of a positive one. So what would be that? Well, maybe we want to give a message to Jeff. Jeff was not there, so but we talked to the uh, to his assistant. So uh, bring some uh, drinks for the party. All right, that's the message that we want to give to Jeff. This is in the form of an imperative. So how do we go about changing this into um, an indirect request? Well, again, we mentioned we will use could. And then we'll use you. Uh, in this case, we'll use the verb tell. The object I mentioned is Jeff. All right, so we will say, could you tell? All right, guys, so um, this is actually really self-explanatory. Um, let me just give my own example, okay? All right, guys, so pretty much what it's, this is saying is this, okay? All right, vos sos mandón, vos querés darle una orden a alguien, okay? So you're uh -huh. like, you, you, you're uh, Bukele, okay? You're not Bukele, right? All right, so you're an Ibu Kelly and you would like to be giving orders, right? So you tell someone, hey, uh, okay, uh, let's say Oscar, okay, Oscar, let's, uh, I right, tell close the airport, okay? I'll tell you, close uh -huh. the airport, okay? All right? Okay. So Oscar, right. close the airport, right. right? So what is what this is saying is, um, if you want to make it a request, you use the same structure, right? Could you tell um oscar okay could you tell oscar and then we use the infinitive okay to close the airport okay could you tell oscar to close the airport all right got it now what about what about if the imperative is a negative okay oscar okay una orden recuerden imperative son ordenes okay oscar don't close the airport okay all right Ahora, la única diferencia es exactamente la misma cosa para que vean que eso es cierto, right? I'm going to copy paste, okay? All right. Now, la única cosa que hago, guys, the only thing that you have to do, could you tell Oscar 
not to close the airport. Got it? Got it, got it? Got it, got it. All right. Easy. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. All good? <laughs> All right. Easy peasy. Okay, very good, very good. All right, very good, guys. So, um, so now, uh, four minutes to practice with imperatives in positive and negative. Before we continue, okay? I gave you the example, but do you have any question how to make a, how to make a request out of imperatives? ¿Tiene alguna pregunta cómo hacer pregunta a través de un imperativo? Oh, um, no? we are okay, we are okay. Okay, very good, okay? Not now, not now. Okay, very good, okay? <laughs> not, 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 all right, not so far, not so far. That's what you said, okay? Not yet. All right, remember, guys, so far, so good? So far, so good. Okay, very so good, right? far, so good. Let's practice, let's practice then, all right? Let's go. All right, Oscar, Nubia, let's join the rooms. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Angel, 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 Angel. All right, good job, good job, all right. Oscar Bonilla, Oscar Bonilla, all right. They're waiting for you, sir. All right, Oscar, are you having issues joining? All right, I'm going to. Pregúntenos. Hey, God, nice to see you, Lisa. All good? Hi, <laughs> cool. Ah, you were hiding, huh? <laughs> let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, continue. Okay. Um, uh, Eneida, uh, could you tell Roxana um, to open the window? Uh. All right, you say yes, I can, okay? All right. Yes, I can. Right. Yeah. Now, ask, ask your question. Good job, good job, Elisa. That's actually grammatically correct. Now, three, two, one, let's go, Aneta. Ask uh, your uh, your request. Um, uh, Elisa, could you tell uh, Roxana uh, oh. to open uh, the restaurant? <laughs> Okay, good job, good job, all right. Could you tell Roxana to open the restaurant, right? Roxana. Hello. All right, uh, what is your request? Okay, continue, continue, right? Okay. Call you tell... Uh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold your horses, okay? All right, pronunciation, cold, helado. Cold. Could, all right, pronunciation, guys, could. Cool. Oh, okay. All right, good. All right. Cool. All right, let's go. Call ah. you, uh, Eneida. Yes. Call you, call you, tell. Call you, no, 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 no. Okay, all right, I'm going to say this in Spanish, okay? No lleva L, no lleva L, okay? It's just cool. 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 Okay? Cool. cool. All right, good, 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 good. Cool. Okay. Yes, all right, let's go. Okay, Eneida. Could you tell Elisa a uh, look lock the door? Okay, remember you have to use an infinitive. Good job, Roxana. Good job. You're doing a good job. However, you have to use an infinitive. Could you tell Roxana to close the door? All right. Well, this is okay. All right. Once again, once again, Roxana. Uh, Eneida, could you tell Elisa 
to be quiet. Beautiful job, beautiful job. Beautiful job, right? That was my big applause. Okay, continue, guys. Continue, continue, girls. Uh, Elisa, can you tell uh, Roxana uh, not to... Hi, how are you doing? How are you doing? All good? Any questions? Let me hear you. We don't have any question right now. Okay, let me hear but you. Then. I, hear you. Uh, okay, uh, just, just. I mean, I, I have a question. Sure. We can use this kind of sentences using cool or wool or just cool. Mm, I love your question. Okay, it's a request. Okay. You can use it for whatever, whatever. Um, I mean, you can use it for whatever request that you like. Okay, such okay. as, mm -hmm. uh, would you be so kind? to mm -hmm. ask Raul to close the door. Mm -hmm. Can you tell Raul to close the door? Mm -hmm. um, would you please tell Raul to close the door? Got it? So yeah. Okay, you, okay. Mm -hmm. so we can use in, in, in those, in those. Yeah. Or you okay. can, actually there is another way. You can say, would you mind mm -hmm. telling mm -hmm. Raul to close mm -hmm. the door? It is the same structure. Okay. Good job, good job. Uh -huh. right. Okay, thank you. Very good, very good, very good. Uh, how are you doing? Any question, any question, Jose, Angel? All good? So far, so good? So far, so, far, so good. good. All right, very good. All right, let me hear you. Let me hear you. Yeah. <clears throat> could, could you tell my wife that I, I stay in my home? Today in my home, uh, I <laughs> in right. my home at uh, 8 p.m. Okay, now More that is that is grammatically correct, Angel. All right, Angel, that that's actually good. However, we're talking about imperatives. How do we make requests out of imperatives? Imperatives are commands. Imperatives are Jose. What are imperatives? Commands, what are they? What are they? Exactly, okay, so ordenes, okay? Orden. All right, so if I if I tell Angel, Angel, do not close the door, okay? If I want if I want Jose to tell you that, si, quiero, si yo le quiero pedir a Jose que te pida que por favor vos no cerres la puerta, all right? I'm gonna tell Jose, could you please, or could you tell Angel not to close the door, see? Tenés que usar el, el infinitive, que es two, two plus the verb, right? Got it, got it, got it? All right. So, Angel, once again, all right? Let's use uh, the infinitive. So, I'm going to say, uh, Jose, I need you, uh, I'm going to say, uh, Carla, Carla, open the windows, okay? Now, tell Jose that you need Carla to open the windows, okay? Let's go, Angel. <clears throat> Jose... Jose, could you tell Carla uh, to uh, You're good, you're good. Uh huh? To to open the window. Beautiful job, okay? To open the window. Very good job, very good job. Got it? Got it, Angel? Got it? Got it. Okay, got very it. good. All right. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. All right, good job, good job, guys. You're doing a good job. Okay, now, guys, uh, Roxana, Roxana was very nice, uh, was very actually clever to answer, I mean, to ask me about um, the the different type of requests, okay? So let me share the screen right now to, to um, so you know what I mean, okay? So Roxana was asking me this, okay? He, she was saying, hey, teacher, you know, is it possible to use any other type of requests or is it only with could, okay? And the answer is yes. You can say, for example, instead of could you tell Oscar, you can say, would you mind, okay? If you want to be more polite, okay? All right, you can say, would you mind 
telling Oscar. Remember, uh, if you say, would you mind, if you use the expression, would you mind, then the verb has to be in, it has to be a gerund, okay? It has to be ing form, all right? So would you mind telling Oscar not to close the um, the airport, okay? Um, Oscar, Oscar, what is another what is another expression if you want to sound very polite to um, to say something like this? I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Mm, no, we can't hear. You. I, I, Nada. All right. Go, Nada. What is? Cool. Okay. Would would what? You can say, would you please? Uh huh. Would you please? Turning turning off the. Would you please? No, we're talking about the airport. No, closing the airport. Okay. Would you please uh -huh. tell Oscar? To Oscar. Uh huh. Not to close the airport. Not to close the airport. Okay. Very good job, okay? Got it, guys? So, yeah, you can use other type of requests uh, and still use infinitives like this, okay? All right. I just wanted to point that out, guys, okay? By the way, guys, write down all vocabulary, all right? Point, point that out. It means to emphasize on something, okay? To bring it up to someone's attention. So, bring it okay. up to someone's attention all right very good right all right so let's uh let's do a quick fire okay all right so i'm gonna choose randomly let's go and hey that you have uh you have 10 seconds to answer the first question no mistakes three two one no you know what let's start with yeah and Ada, you're the first one okay let's go and Ada. three two one go uh the the answer the, for number one uh um how many friends? Okay, so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna rewrite the sentence. Okay? Rewrite the sentence as indirect request in the other words, ask someone to deliver, deliver the message for you, only, only complete the missing words and make sure you use the correct spelling and punctuation. Okay. So let me give you the first example, okay? Um, Oscar, Oscar, what do you think the answer for number one is? Could you, can you hear me? I can hear you, yes. Okay, could you tell Tony uh, how many friends can I bring to the party? Okay, now, what I want you to notice, guys, is that you're not gonna have to submit the whole sentence, okay? But in this case, would, could you tell Tony how many friends I can bring to this party? That would be correct, okay? But let's see what's not working here. Uh, mm. Oscar, did you get the answer? No, no. Okay, but that would be technically correct, okay? All uh -huh. right. Now. Well, let's try wool. Will you tell? Okay, okay let's try wool, okay? Would you tell Tony, okay? Would you tell Tony? That would be correct, okay? Or would you mind telling Tony? Both of them would be correct, okay? Now, or can you ask Tony? Okay, you can tell. Yeah, could you, could you ask Tony too? That would be correct too. Okay, look, look, very good. Hey, right? applause. Very good. Very good. Now, now, one thing, guys. All of them were actually requests. Okay. Technically, guys, todas las respuestas que nos dio Oscar también están correctas. Okay. Uh -huh. Those are absolutely correct. Now, it's just a thing from the platform. It just takes one answer, okay? But everything was correct. Okay, so now, guys, uh, let's, uh, let's, let's take three minutes to solve this together, okay? All right? Okay. All right, very good. Uh, I need a volunteer, 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 right? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Do like this. Me? Okay, very good. All right, Roxana, let's go. Number two. Okay. Number two, uh, it's a... Could you ask Sophia if she's going to the party with Jeff? Okay. Going you ask to the Sophia? party with Jeff? Okay. She's going to the party with Jeff? Mm, no, 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 no. Could you ask Sophia to go to the party or to go into the party? Are you sure? All right. Could you ask uh, Sophia to, to go, you mean? To go? 
if she is going to the party with Jeff. Okay, all right. I use a conditional if. Going, yes, with. Uh -huh. If she's going party with to the party with Jeff. Okay, now, okay, Jeff. all right. Mm -hmm. But could you ask Sophia and then Sophia, okay, very good. All right, let's see, let's see. Okay. Let's see if that's correct. All right. I have the correct. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, what do you think? What do you think, Elisa? Hold on. I know that you have it, uh, Roxana. What do you think, Elisa? I don't know. <laughs> okay. All right, now, okay. Pero si le entiende, si le entiende lo que estamos haciendo. Esta frase que está aquí, Sofía, are you going to the party with Jeff? La tiene que transformar en un indirect request. Okay, hacer la misma pregunta, pero de forma indirecta. All right. So, could you ask Sofia, right, yeah. if she's going to the party with Jeff? Right, that would be correct. If going to, or if she is, let's try if she's going to the party with Jeff. All right. Okay, all right. So, let it like, all right. But the answer was correct. Thank you very much, Roxana. Okay. All right. Now, let's see. Um, Ma uh, Raúl, all right, Raúl, number three. Number three. Okay. Whether or not a certain person to tell his right, Okay, I can hear you very well. Can you get a little bit closer to your headphones, to your microphone? Uh, do you hear me well now? Yeah, yeah, I can. Okay. Could you? I don't know. <laughs> Could you ask? That's correct. Could you ask? Mm -hmm. Could you ask? Kelly. Could you ask Tony? No, uh... it's it's Kelly. <laughs> oh, That's could it. you That's ask it. Kevin? Mm -hmm. uh, hey, Kevin. Is Tony accept the invitation to the party? Okay. Could you ask Kenny whether or not he accepted the invitation to Tony's party? All right. Let's see. Is, is Kevin. 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 Okay. okay, Kevin. Okay. All right, very good. Okay. Uh, pick someone else, Roxana. Pick someone who uh, participated. Okay, Anna. Anna, let's go, Anna. Number four. Could you ask? Mario, no, Siria. Yeah. Uh, yes, yes. No, no. That's okay. good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's going to. I don't know, teacher. Think, 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 think. Okay, could you ask Mario? Okay, remember, Mario, are you going to give Tony a gift? Is, the, is what we're looking for, right? So, you have to make the same question in a direct form. Okay? Uh, let's see, Nubia, help Anna, okay, help Anna. Could cool, you ask Mario? All right, cool, cool, cool. I am cool, okay, yo soy bien cool, right? All right. All right, good. Pronunciation, good. All right, once again, once again. Hello, Nubia. Nubia? Hello. All right, once again, number four, number four. Will you, will Mario, are With you Mario? going to give Tony a gift? With Mario? No. With okay. Mario? No. no. Uh-uh, that's incorrect, okay? Uh, what do you think, uh, Moises? Thank you, Nubia. Hold on. We're going to see, okay? I needed to practice more on this, okay? Uh, but good job, Nubia. You're doing a good job. Moses, let's go. Okay. Could you... Could you... Jose, dale, Jose. Let's go, Jose. Dale, Moy, dale. Dale, Jose. <laughs> Could you ask Mario if he... Very good. If he's going, yes. if he going to, to give Tony a gift? Mm. Yeah. Beautiful job, man. Beautiful uh -huh. job. All right. 
Oh, all right, very good. Applause, guys. Applause, 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 okay? All right, very good, okay? That should be correct, okay? So, yeah. very good. Right. So now, correct. All right, guys. So, uh, in summary, guys, in summary, um, when you're making indirect requests with imperatives, you simply, the secret is this, okay? Remember, I'm going to write it down. In summary, guys, imperative is equal to an order, okay? Una orden, okay? If uh, you want to make the order sound a little bit um, more polite, you add, in, uh, you add infinites, which is basically two plus a verb, okay? All right? Now, if you want to do a negative, you have to do not to plus a verb, okay? Got it, got it? That's it. That's it in summer, okay? All right, now, that's that's pretty much it, guys. Do you have any other question before we take off? By the way, guys, take off is to uh, to end an activity, okay? I mean, to, to leave, okay? Before we take off, okay? Or you can say, before we call it a night, okay? So do you have any question before we call it a night? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, call it a night, call it, call it a night, actividad, en la noche, okay? Call it a day is the same thing, but or, or during the day, okay? All right, so do you have okay. any question before we call it a night? No, we don't have. Okay, very good, okay? Guys, nice to see you then. Take care. Thank you, right. teacher. Peace okay. out, good night. and uh, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Be here tomorrow. Be here tomorrow. Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining, guys. Good night. Yeah. Bye. Bye.